Hi, let's practice some easy, medium, and hard SQL interview questions. So we first want to find the employee with the highest salary, which is a pretty simple task. We want to find the employee with the nth highest salary. For example, the fourth highest salary or the fifth highest salary. We want to find the top three employees with the highest salary by department. And some techniques we can use are max, top, order by, subquery, in, dense rank, and partition. So let's jump over to Microsoft SQL Server Studio. So we're gonna be looking at some real world salaries from Virginia Beach in America. And this is from data.gov. I'll put a link to the data set and you'll be able to download it. So let's take a look at the data set with a simple select query. The name of the table in the database is employees underscore salaries. So select star from employees underscore salary. So I'm gonna execute that. We can see the columns here is department, department division. We have uh, the PCN, which is the employee ID number, positions, status, and date in, and we have a salary column. So we're mostly gonna be concerned with salary, the employee number, and the departments. So let's tackle the first question. So your first question is, find the employee with the highest salary. So we can find the highest salary with a select max, which gives us the maximum salary. So if I highlight that and execute that, we can see the highest salary. However, we wanna know the employee. So what we can do is just turn this into a subquery, for example, and use a where statement. So I'm going to select the PCN from our employees table where salary equals and then we have our query here. So that's pretty long so let's format that so we can say select PCN from the employees table where salary equals select max salary from employee salary. So in to in turn this into a subquery, we need to encapsulate it with these parentheses. And if I run this, we can execute it and you can see that we get that employee number and then I also think it's good to bring back the salary. And if I run this again, you can see we get the employee and the salary. You could also use in instead of equals. For example, if we just use in, we get the same result. So let's tackle the next one. The next question is, and let's make some space, find the employee with the nth highest salary. So this number could be anything. So what if we wanted to find the second highest salary? We've already found the top salary. So let's recreate what we did before using top. So I'm going to say select the top and I'm going to choose the top everything from the employees table. So top is just going to give us everything that's on the first row. So if I say bring back the top and I execute that from employee salary, it's gonna bring me back the first row. And this is not going to be the same as the top salary because this is not the same employee number. And I can show you by running both of these at the same time. And we'll get those two tables. 
and we can see that these employee IDs are not the same. So what we want to do is order this table by salary. So we can say order by, so I'm going to create a line here, order by salary. And we can say descending, so we get the top salaries first. So if I highlight this and run this, you can see we are going to get the top salary. If I run both of these, we get the top salary and the employee ID number. But all we're concerned about is the PCN and the salary. You can see now we get the same result because we're getting that top row. So if I wanted to find the, the employee with the second highest salary, I could definitely just run this and say give me the top two. And we know this is the top two salaries. But your task was to bring back the second highest. So what we can do is take this table, and let's format it a little bit. We can encapsulate that into parentheses. And just to show you, I'm going to call this salary order. So if I select the top everything with the wild card from this subquery, let's see what we get. Oh, we need to pass in the top one. This, so I'm going to run all of this. And now you can see we get that top salary back again. But what we want to do is get the second highest salary here. So what we can do is now we can order this re result. So now what we can do is we can order this result, order by salary. And now let's see what we get. And then we can order that ascending. And you can see the top two salaries there. But all we need to do is to choose that second salary because you can see that this salary is lower than this salary because this is 271,000 and this one is 270,000. We just want that one. So all we need to do is choose the one that result come through. So we should be able to get 270,000. And there it is. If we wanted to get the third highest salary, all we would do is change this to a three, execute the query again, and we would get the third highest salary, which is 20, which is 234,000. Now let's answer our final question. Find the employees with the highest salary by department. So we can answer the previous question with a rank function. So let's use the ranking function to give us the same result as above. So I'm just going to document this rank function. So I'm going to select, so I'm going to select the PCN and the salary, and then I'm going to also and let's format this a little bit. So I'm going to select PCN, so the employee number and the salary. Then I'm going to use rank over. I'm going to use the rank function over. So we want to rank over what? We want to rank over the salary. So we're going to pass salary in there, but we want to order by salary. And we want to order that descending, so we get the top first, from the employee, and let me put a comma here, 
from the employee salaries. And let me show you what that gives us. So let's make a little space here and let's run this. You can see that we returned a ranking of the salaries. However, let's give it a column name. So let's move that here. And now we will be able to see that column renamed. So we can see the ranking there. And of course, if we wanted to use this in a similar way, to choose our third highest or fourth highest. What we can do is use that as a subquery or a CTE. So let's use that as a CTE, which is a common table function. So with, and I'm just gonna call this table CTE as, and then I'm gonna encapsulate this into a parentheses, and then I'm going to select from it so select everything from the table name is CTE and just show you what we get back. So I'll run this and you can see we get the same table back. So then we can use a where, where ranking equals. So if we wanted the third highest, we would just choose three. And if I run this all again, then you can see that we would get this third highest salary. And we can run both of these to see what we get. So let's run all of this. So we're gonna add a semicolon so we can run all of this together so it doesn't run in one code. So you can see that we get the same result where we've used a top function and selected the bottom of that table and we use the rank function. Now we can use this logic to get the top three by departments. So I'm going to copy this query and I'm gonna bring this down. Now we need to add to this. So what we wanna to do to be able to get the top three is partition our data by department. So what we're going to add to our over is partition. So what I'm going to do is add partition by department. So partition by department. And then we can run this to see what we have. We need to choose department. So let's reorder this. Let's put department first and PCN next, and then our salary, and then our rank. You can see there is a ranking that repeats. You can see the rank by department. We have 10 employees here, and you can see it's ranked by the descending amount of money that they are making. So we only want the top three so we can turn this into a subquery and I'm going to call this table ranks and then I'm going to select everything from that table where the the ranking is less than four because that will give us everything below the four so that would be the top three we select execute that and now you see you have the top three per category. Now we're using rank, but rank may be problematic because if we have two values that are the same, it will continually count. So it's better to use dense rank. That's just a quick and easy way to answer some of your SQL questions. This is a great start to this. I hope we can do more and please leave your comments and suggestions below.